Welcome back to the channel. We're in the garage again today with my 2021 Road Glide Special. We're going to be doing some quick mods today and addressing one of the things that you always seem to have to address anytime you get a new Harley Davidson motorcycle. We're going to talk today about lighting. Now look, you just bought a brand new Harley Davidson touring motorcycle. So right off the bat, you know there are four things that you've got to address, right? Exhaust, seat, shield, and lighting. As I started to think about lighting, I really had to kind of like forget everything that I'd thought about before. I was used to lighting, um, you know, a Sportster or a soft help uh, platform, but this was my first touring bike. And I did a lot of research and, and, and was looking at, you know, what other people were doing with their bikes and the products that they were using. And, you know, there's a, a lot of people like to put lights everywhere. You know, they want to have maximum visibility and, and they light up their bikes like a Christmas tree. Uh, it's not my thing, but, you know, nothing wrong with that. But after you figure out what you, how you want to light the bike, then you need to make a decision about uh, which product, which brand you're going to go with. And you really don't want to mix and match because, you know, once you go down, down with one system, you want to stick with that system and be as, as plug and play as possible with everything you're putting on the bike. Um, so I looked at Ciro and I looked at Custom Dynamics. Now, I've used Custom Dynamics in the past. Uh, I've used some Ciro products, not lighting, but other products. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, what I decided to do when I put kind of my lighting plan together um, was to go with uh, Custom Dynamics. And the reason I went with Custom Dynamics over Ciro is, and, and this is totally subjective, guys, so, you know, be, uh, be kind in the comment section. But to me, Custom Dynamics has a, a higher quality uh, product. They have a more elegant solution, a more elegant product. Everything's plug and play. And I know things are plug and play on Ciro as well. Again, this is completely subjective. Um, I just prefer the, the look and feel and the approach uh, with Custom Dynamics and all the products that they make. So I reached out to Custom Dynamics and told them I was getting a new bike and what I was doing with the build and you know what I kind of had planned for the channel. And um, yeah, they offered to help me. So this box was uh, sent to me actually a couple of months ago. Um, just like the other company I was talking about before um, in the earlier videos, uh, people were offering to help me with the bike long before I got the bikes, it turned out, because the wait was so long. Uh, so what I want to do is kind of go over what's inside this box and what are, then talk a little bit about the first things that I'm going to do with the lighting. And then today we're actually going to do a quick uh, upgrade on the uh, front turn signals and the rear uh, turn signals and brake lights because that's really fast and easy to do. So let's go over to the table and take a look at this stuff. All right, let's dig into this thing. So in the box, we've got uh, some custom dynamic stickers and uh, a koozie, cool. Got some paperwork. Oh, check it out. So we have an LED tri-bar light, and this one is smoked. That's going to be cool. A Magic Strobes module. Now, Votes will be happy that I got this. He's been trying to get me to uh, get one of these on my, my bikes for three years now. So, uh, looking forward to this. See, Volts, I'm going to strobe out like you now. And then the last thing we have... These are the dual color sequential running and brake lights, um, turn signals for the uh, saddlebags. And I'm really excited about getting these and looking forward to getting these installed. So thank you, Custom Dynamics. Really looking forward to getting this stuff on the bike. As I said before, I've been using Custom Dynamics products on my motorcycles for a few years. So the thing that we're gonna do tonight is we're actually gonna go ahead and put on um, the replacements for my front turn signals. These are LED. These are the uh, Pro Rings, Pro Beam uh, turn signals from Custom Dynamics. And then I'm also going to um, 
put a set of LEDs. We're going to replace the the running or the brake lights on the back of the, the motorcycle with another set of the pro beams. Now these come with the uh, red lenses, like what's already on the bike, but I've got a set of smoked lenses that I'm going to put on the rear when we replace these. Now, another thing to, to uh, know about the Road Glide Special for the fronts is that the front turn signals actually already come with smoke lenses, so um, don't need to put any special lenses on. I'm just going to use the ones I've got. Let's get started. We're going to do the front turn signals first. This is a uh, shot of the front of the bike with the stock turn signals on. There's not a whole lot of brightness, which is one of the reasons that we want to switch them over to LEDs. The first thing we're going to do is to remove the lens. The way we do this is there's a notch somewhere around the edge of your, your lens. Now mine, on both sides of mine, this notch is here right on the outside. Then I'm going to take a little plastic pry tool that I've got, put that in that slot, and then twist and pop that lens off. So like I said before, the Road Glide Special lenses are already smoked on the front turn signals. But as you can see, the light bulb in here is amber. So I'm gonna, now I'm gonna reach in and then I'm going to turn the bulb to the, the left or counterclockwise. It'll go about a quarter twist and then you should be able to pull it straight out. Now be careful, when you pull this out, there's, you want to look for these two little posts that are on the, the light bulb. Now these posts are offset. When we put the replacement ones in, we'll want to line those up on the same side and then turn clockwise to reseat the bulb. So the sh in my case, the short post is to my left and the long post is to the right. Now that we have the bulb out, we want to take um, just a, like a shop towel, reach down into that socket and wipe away as much of that grease as you can that's in there. Forgot what they call that, Di dialectic grease, I, you know, I don't know. I'm not a mechanic and I'm not an electrician, but when I first started working with Custom Dynamics products, they said always make sure you get that stuff out. So with that clean, uh, I want to take my replacement LED and I'm going to look again for those posts to make sure that I've got them lined up correctly on the right side. My short one's on the left, long one's on the right. The other thing that you'll want to note is there's a slot right here on the end of this where you can put a screwdriver. So I'm going to line those up. So I'm going to push in and then turn to the right. Now that's seated. Whatever you do, make sure you've got those posts on the right side before you lock that into position. Because it's going to go in either way. It'll go in incorrectly, but then when you do the test, the lights aren't going to work correctly. So now what I want to do is, I just before I put the cap on, I'm going to test the LED to make sure that I have a white running light and then an amber turn signal. We'll do a quick test. It fell down. So I've got the white running light and then the amber turn signal. That's it. It works. Rotate that a little bit to get the slack out of the, the wires that are there. And then I'm going to put my lens cap back on and I'm going to look for that little notch again, which is right there. And I'm going to put it on the outside so if I have to get in here again, I'll be able to get to it easily. Then I'm just going to press this into place. And that's it. So now, we have the smoke lens on, got the white running light, amber turn signal. And that's it, that's all there is to it. You don't have to go through any BCM process to reset the BCM or anything. These are straight plug and play. You can see the security alarm just armed and they were amber on the security alarm arming signal. That's it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other three real quick. Um, 
if you're not shooting a video, honestly, it's, this is 60 seconds per light, maybe 120 if you stop to, to grab a cup of coffee or something. Um, very fast, cost-effective uh, upgrade to do from Custom Dynamics that will you know, increase your, your visibility and make it a little safer for you out on the road. I think the difference on the front of the bike is just absolutely friggin' amazing. I mean, this looks, this looks awesome. You have the white running lights here, and now we'll go take a look at the, uh, the turn signals. Very cool. Now, I love the fact that I've got white running lights and uh, amber turn signals. Now let's take a look at the back. It's the stock turn signals, brake lights, and um, tri bar. So I'm going to go up and hit the signals and we can see what that looks like. Here's the turn signal. There's the brake lights. Now let's take a look at the rear with the Custom Dynamics turn signal and brake lights on. And you'll notice uh, the first thing is that the lenses are no longer red, they're smoked. So I'll turn on the bike. You can see how much brighter they are. I like the little halo rings in there too. Now we'll hit the turn signals. And then last, the brake lights. Super happy to have those on. So that's it guys. Hey, I want to thank uh, Custom Dynamics again for helping me out with uh, the build on my 2021 Road Glide Special. This bike is really shaping up. The next thing that we're going to do with lighting uh, is replace the tri bar down here with the LED tri bar lights and then uh, the turn signal lights for the saddlebags will go right here and those are going to look really super cool. And then the very last thing we'll do is the, uh, the magic strobe module to put a lighting pattern on here to make things a little more safe because you know increases visibility, grabs people's attention. That's it guys, thanks so much uh, for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and hit the thumbs up for this video. If you don't mind, I'd greatly appreciate it. And we will see you on the next video. Peace. Thank you.